Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, today is our 37th day, a countdown to the elections. In this channel, we start uh, sending this videos, short videos from the day 40 all the way down to the 3rd of November. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a situation happening in Kentucky, Lowville, Kentucky. And we all know in six months, uh, something very tragic happened, you know, and as we see and live in this country, a lot of things happen every single day. It is something that it is tragic sometimes, you know, people don't think that you're gonna die one day, but sometimes it happens. So, the Attorney General, Daniel, uh, Daniel Cameron, uh, I went and I look up and I was listening to the the his conference uh, release uh, uh, that he did, and I was listening at him, you know about you know all the procedure they took to do all those things, and then I'm looking at also the only indict only one cop out of the three cops, and. There were 12 jurors, jurors, nine out of the 12, you know, they didn't find him, uh, find them, them guilty. They act in self-defense because they, they were shot at first. There was one that was outside and he starts shooting with the gun like a maniac. This happened. It's sad. Do we need more training? Probably we do. Situations like this, we don't have it every single day. And, and it's hard because these are things that happen in seconds. It's it's easy to see a movie and see how this big person come and cha cha cha. You've seen all the movies, uh, the, the Boogeyman or all many different movies that we see on, on the big screen that could, this is like a movie. When the real life is a whole lot different because you know, life, life, life die, you know, you die. It's not like a, you shoot a, another run of, of the movie or cut and that's it, no. When this happens in real life, you die. You live or you die. So when he was explaining and another conference of, of, of um, news, news conference, uh, they asked the President Trump, and I wanted to read the, the, what he wrote, what, what he was saying on the conference, this conference, because it was very appealing because the way he said these things, it will make this a whole lot difference. So, what he was saying uh, in his answer, justice is not often easy is not fit the more of public opinion and did not conform to shit standards and answer only to the fact and the law. If we only act in emotions and rage, there is no justice. Mob justice is not justice. It's just become revenge. We, in this channel, we know that we're doing this countdown, we are kind of mixing ourselves because we do the rosary, we do the prayer of every single day, the gospel, a reflection, and we stay more into the safe zone. By me doing this, it's like going out of the safe zone. Uh, you know, this is something different. And I, I've already got a lot of heat in some chats because they don't like it. But we got to talk about these things. Even we as a Catholic, we have to be involved. Right now, we have uh, two choices for the November 3rd. One, clearly, clearly, in all the states and mayors, they are taking an action. And the action they are taking is defund the police. All these different moves that BLM and 
of Antifa and other move that get together with everybody to do these things, they're also calling to defund the police. Like, defunding the police is gonna be the better answer for these things. The police, listen, it's law and order. You know, there's a law, there's a, the, the, the congressmen, they do the laws and everything, but who is the one who's gonna get dirty? Listen, engineers and architects, they design, they stay in the office and do the whole thinking, how beautiful it's gonna look, how everything's gonna be together. But guess what? The one in the field are the one taking the CMU, the blocks, and putting them together, the forms, the rebar, the concrete, and the sheetrock, and the plaster, and you know guys, I work in construction, so I can go on and on. They are the ones to get the hands dirty. So, we have laws. And when Cameron, Daniel Cameron was saying, it makes a lot of sense because if we let the mob rule what it's already on the books, how are we gonna do? The jurors didn't find, didn't find these three guys guilty. They find one guilty because he was kind of probably scared and never shoot at the, at the gun for a, probably a week start shooting and probably almost kill somebody they they got him five years so how can all this happen and they were already ready to go out and protest listen you can protest you might not like it but the outcome is just go ahead and protest but try to force with power and destruction our way of life is no life. It is no life. And we had to see these things as it is. We cannot be supporting this craziness. It is craziness. Listen, sports, basketball, hockey, or all these different sports, especially basketball and now the kneel down and there's so many different lesson <clears throat> a lot of people do a lot of crazy stuff and they want to make a statement listen statement can we listen what the the, the people in charge fbi and all these people finalize or are you just gonna think just cooking all this just to let these people go? This system it is a system that has been working for a long time. And you know what is gonna happen right now? The way they're doing and defunding everything, they're gonna get away with it. So guess what? What is gonna happen to the rest of us? That if something happened, we wanted to call 911. Who's going to answer? At what time they're going to come? Because we don't have enough of them to taking care of the order. I said it before in this channel. We pray the rosary every single day. Life. Also about the gospel and the reflection every single day. This channel is a, it's a Roman Catholic channel. Yes, I'm a Roman Catholic channel. I am in the Mary movement of priests. I live in New York. But I see these things, I cannot stay myself quiet and just let everything go to where? To where is gonna go if we don't have order? I intended to you before, my God is a God of order. In this nation, even in our money, in print on the money says, in God we trust. So I'm asking you, where is that trust? Where is that trust in human beings, in mob, in groups that just want to destroy our way of life? 
We can't stand for that. Look at this. All these different places that it's happening. It's Democrats run cities. All of them. And instead of Cuomo or de Blasio here in New York, cannot do something to stop that, allows it. Who is not doing what they're supposed to be doing? When they raise their hand, they're supposed to, to do all and protect by what the constitution of the place they live by. Remember, I'm not a scholar. I, I, I went to college, you know, I finished some degrees, but I, this social thing is not my thing. But it's becoming our thing because we are staying quiet. And we cannot stay quiet no longer. That's why we have 37 days to go. An election that we need to go out and vote. And just look at the choices. One is going for founding the police and the other one is going for not really saying that he's founding it. First, he will redirect the money. Now he's flipping and flopping. It's incredible. It's outrageous. But what happened to this girl, it was sad. It was very sad. But a lot of sad things happen every single day in this country. And one party is taking advantage of all these things and they are making it political to advance their thinking in everybody else. And we should be outraged of this. It's time to stand up, get up, vote early, and make sure that we can have somebody in the White House that really is for law and order. Thank you once again. If you like the video that you just saw, for some reason, every time I'm a little more, not angry, but my English is like, Perfect. If you like the video, and we're gonna be doing 36 tomorrow, share it with your friends and family. From Junkers, New York, Efraín Rodríguez Ortiz. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And the Virgin Mary help you, help you, help you to take you to heaven. Amen.